bringing home the bronze. A local man is back on the ground after reaching podium at the National Skydiving Championships. We're so happy to have Andrew Kenny with us here today. And skydiving is something that I feel like you have to be a special kind of person to do that. So how long have you been skydiving for? So I did my first tandem, I think, I guess 13 years ago now, but I've been jumping um, consistently since about 11 years ago or so. Wow, so after that first dive, what inspired you to keep going? Before I even went, uh, it seemed like something I'd be interested in, so I figured if I liked doing the first one, then at some point I would get my license. So wait until I had a little bit of money saved up so that I could go through the whole process and not really have to budget as much and could kind of quickly progress through. Wow, that's amazing. And, and you have your suit here. So, what, so what's wingsuiting? So wingsuiting is we wear a, a jumpsuit that helps slow our vertical fall rate and turn it into horizontal so we can kind of maneuver across the ground. Can we see it? Yeah, so. <laughs> it is so cool. This is the suit I wear for performance, the performance event. Wow. Um, that is yeah. awesome. So basically it's a, a nylon suit, uh, multi-surfaced, and there are uh, inlets that basically take air in and pressurize the suit into a semi-rigid airfoil to generate lift like a, an airplane wing, wing it, would. Skydiving's crazy because you know you've been to probably so many places too. Mm -hmm. How many skydives has that been through? Uh, this this suit actually doesn't have that many on it, maybe around 100 on this suit. Oh, yeah. just, just 100. The performance <laughs> suits tend to, you want them to be, um, to pressurize as much as possible to give you the best performance. So after like every every season or so we refresh them and I do about maybe 100 performance jumps a year. Wow, so, so tell us about the nationals that you just won. Yeah, so um, yeah, so it was held in North Carolina this, this year. So I competed in the acrobatic event, uh, which is a two-person event, and we have an outside video flyer. So my wife and I compete as a team, and we have an outside video teammate that films us while we're doing it. And we get judged basically on how many maneuvers we can do during the competition window, which is 7,500 feet of vertical altitude. And then I compete by myself in the performance event, which is judged based off of a GPS unit that records data, how fast we're going, um, how far we're flying, things like that, and you get scored on those parameters. Wow, and so you guys really did take a leap of faith together. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's amazing. How long has your wife been doing it for? What's that like doing it together? Um, it's super enjoyable. Uh, we, we met each other through skydiving, so we were both doing it. Um, when we started dating, she had around 50 jumps and I had around 300. Um, so we've progressed for the past, I think, eight years or so together. So we've got to progress a lot and motivate each other. And it's just become a really nice way to connect with her. And just, yeah, it's my, my favorite part of skydiving is getting to jump with her for sure. I love that. And then you just got a spot in the 2023 U.S. Parachute Team. Yep. What is that like? What's that mean to you? Um, so it, it's definitely exciting um, to be able to represent the U.S. But it's, it's really fun just to travel to other countries, experience the other cultures, meet the other competitors from around the world. And that's one of the best parts about the sport is just every, I think we all have this one very unique thing in common, so it's nice to just meet other people and we share that common connection and yeah, just get to experience different cultures and everything like that. I'm going to live vicariously through you <laughs> and I'm sure everyone else is going to love to hear it too. Where's the best place you've ever been skydiving? Um, that's a good question. Uh, skydive Chicago is a really great drop zone. They have really great facilities there, but honestly, uh, my home drop zone, Cleveland Skydiving Center around here, they, they run a really, it's just a really fun place. To, the atmosphere and the vibe and the people are it's, it's just a really place to go jumping That's great right. place to go jumping i love it so my mother had asked me um to go skydiving with her you know when she retires and i'm like i don't know i don't know if i could do it what advice would you give someone um if they want to go skydiving for the first time you know how do you even get involved in the sport of skydiving yeah so the best way is just to do a tandem jump so you only need about 30 minutes 45 minutes of training you can go up show up that day and they take you on a jump um your instructor is going to be connected to the parachute. They connect you to themselves. So there's not a lot that you really need to know to do that. Um, they, they handle all the challenges and everything. So you can go just do it that day uh, for, to motivate somebody to do it. Uh, it's super fun, and it's probably not a, at all what you're picturing it to be. Um, I know people are worried about like the loss of like your stomach yeah. sensation you get on a roller coaster, which you don't actually get on a skydive. So. Oh. It feels more like floating on a cushion of air rather than like the adrenaline, like 
losing your stomach that you would get on a roller coaster. So Wow. So it's more so a mental preparation. Yeah. Yeah. And then it seems like you have the nerves until you get to the door. And then once you leave the door, it's just everyone's just happy at that point. And they so. just want to do it over and over again. <laughs> Some of us. Yep. <laughs> That's amazing. I love it. Thank you so much for joining us today. Very fascinating. And congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. And to learn more how you can make the first jump or find a skydiving center near you, we'll have that information on our website, kdka.com slash talk Pittsburgh. Coming up next, 